Calcor fam, let's prime that carburetor. We're gonna be doing some single leg work today, uh, single leg squat work today with shrimp squats. So I thought as much time as we could spend in the squat position during our priming the carburetor uh, series here, the better you guys would be prepared for not only the warm up, but prepare for what's coming up in the workout too. So what we're gonna do is three rounds. Each round is gonna consist of 10 sumo squat stretch, followed by a 30 second bottom squat stretch. So we're gonna get into position for the sumo squat stretch, which you guys should be very familiar with. Nice upright torso, my weight is in my heels, my hands are attached in front of my shoe. I'm gonna elevate that tailbone to the ceiling, trying to get as much length in the hamstrings as I can, and then drop that hip and elevate my chest going to the bottom of my squat position. Go up and down for a total of 10 reps there. And after those 10 reps, you can use the assistance of a post if you want to use a post. If you feel pretty strong in your squat position, you can actually just do these without a post as well. Want to go down to the bottom of your squat, bring those elbows inside those knees, drive those knees out, chest up, weight evenly distributed over my feet. I have not lost that nice curve in my lower back, and I'm gonna hang out here for 30 seconds. After spending 30 seconds here, we'll go back to another set of the sumo squat stretch, followed by another 30 second bottom squat stretch. Repeat that so that we end up doing that for a total of three times. And that, my friends, is how we're priming the carburetor today.